So I'll say right now, first off, my voice can be absolutely shot for this video, but this is actually freaking dope. So this video is actually coming in from Zach Bowden. Uh, and he talks about how Android 12 L for the Surface Duo has a continuum mode for connecting to a Windows PC using remote controlled app. So yeah, we actually have a secret based cloud continuum mode thanks to Android 12 L. So that's you. This is an article posted by um, Windows Central here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this to kind of get a better understanding and then we'll look at the video. So starting off right away, Android 12 L is for Surface Duo. Um, introduce a new secret cloud based continuum mode. Connecting to an external monitor or dock will present a remote desktop app. From there, you can connect a Windows PC on your network or in the cloud, which is just absolutely freaking insane. And I got to say, again, like I said in my video the other day, you know, yes, I agree that they needed to push out Windows, uh, I mean, sorry, Android 12 L on this device as soon as possible. But they really should have made sure they had stock of this device on their website, kept the price tag at $1,000 because you know how many sales they could have gotten off this device with all these new features added. This could have been the biggest W by Microsoft in a very long time. Could propel this phone, maybe not to a flagship market, but definitely increase the, uh, the fan base of this phone that gives us that next level experience. So... Let's go ahead and take a look at this video and see what this video is actually looking like. So starting off right away, he does go ahead and show he is going to connect his phone to a PC, which I mean a laptop PC, which um, this works with any external monitor. So it doesn't just have to be a laptop PC. It could be any external monitor possible. So once he does go ahead and does that, we will see that there is a time thing that pops up. And in the right hand corner, we actually have the remote control app. Which of course lets you go and add as many PCs as you would like to to uh, this Surface Duo. Which again, you still have to have a PC, don't get me wrong. It's not like Samsung DeX. It's not like you literally can just run a full on, you know, uh, Linux based software on this device without anything else. Or it gets Windows uh, OS software without anything else. You still need a PC, but it's just this is the first step, right? This is the beta of what could be in the future its own way to run this off of the actual phone. And this would be a huge, 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 crazy enhancement by Samsung. I'm sorry, by Microsoft here. If they can actually get this to work fully on the Surface Duo 1 or 2. If they can get it work on both. That would be absolutely amazing. If they could get it work at least on one. That would also be absolutely amazing. As you see, as he does go ahead and closes his um he unplugs surface duo does glitch a little bit and actually shows the windows uh thing his window screen on his actual surface duo but like i said before this is an absolute w for microsoft i'm surprised they did not talk about this more or kind of push this out there again it does make sense because this is an early you know build slash early beta so it makes sense that they don't want to go ahead and say hey listen guys you can run windows 11 and then, bam, people get backlash because it's not actually running Windows 11, right? It's pretty much what you could do all along with um, remote control. You could do this since the beginning. If you guys go back to my channel and you watch old videos, you guys can see I do actually have videos of me using remote control apps on my Surface Zero 1, 2, Z Fold 3, Z Fold 4, so I can run my actual system off those devices, right? So... Again, it's not fully running off those devices, but it's in sense running off those devices. And you can control your system through those devices too. So this is nothing new. It's not like a new concept. It's nice to have the feature without having to go download the app, without having to go do all this stuff. It's already built in. So again, like I said, it's one of those nice things where whenever something is built in like this, it's just an extra feature. So... I can't wait to find out more features about this phone as time goes on because I really didn't know all the features. Yeah, I mean, obviously we read the feature list, right? We let all we read all the um, brand new things added to this phone, but 
it seems like Android 12 L is just absolutely surprising us every single day at this point uh, with brand new features slash brand new things added. So definitely excited about this. Gonna be trying this out probably all day long. Not gonna lie to you guys. As you guys know, we did switch to um, Surface Zero 2 as my daily driver again. So, well, you know, a little switcheroo right there. Going from the iPhone 14 Pro back to the Surface Zero 2 once Android 12 L came out. Again, apologize for my voice being absolutely shot right now. I'm very sick, so I apologize for that. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like comment down below and tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.